Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. It's Mr. Ish. We're here at Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, Portia Clubhouse, 2022. Oh, we'll never make it, but we're here. Um, we have a lot of new activities, hopefully, coming up this year. And I want to get some ideas from you guys. Let's just go around the table, introduce ourselves from left to my right, give me your name and your age, and let's just get right to it. My name is Carter, and I'm nine. Welcome, Carter. My name is Royce, and I'm ten. Welcome, Royce. Hi, my name is Khaled, and I'm nine years old. Welcome, Khaled. So today, we kind of have a topic that we want to talk about. I want to talk about your idea for new programs, um, maybe your idea for programs that exist that we're doing now that, that work well, and uh, any other ideas that you guys might have, clubs, anything that you guys might want to do, so we could see if we could um, get the people that, that, you know, always asking how, how, how could we get um, our members into different activities and stuff like that. Um, they, they, they ask that all the time. So this is the first time maybe that you guys have a, a free for all on whatever different things or different clubs you guys would like to do. Who, who, who has any ideas? Do you have any ideas? Let's start with you, Kelly. Um, My idea for a new activity in this Kibbs Bay is we could do coding because in my school we have a coding class and it's really fun. Okay, I think coding is is definitely something that they've been looking into. I'm already um, coding. coding. Coding is something, that's that kind of the language of the future now because everything's going to be computers. We all know that. Um, and I think that starting in school is absolutely fun. And then, you know, coming here, maybe being a, a little more creative with it, it'll be kind of dope. So um, coding is, is dope. I, I think that's that's already, they see that. We just have to find a curriculum, somebody that's really going to gonna do it. Miss Margaret was doing some of it, but I think that, that we're going to have to go in that, that direction again. Um, you have anything, Carter, that you would like to, uh, clubs or anything you would like to? I think a literature club should literature. be Literature, ooh, that's dope. The problem with that is that maybe not for your age group, but it excludes the younger kids because a lot of them, you know, can't read and write. So it kind of like I can read and write. I know you can. You're nine years old. You should be able to read and write. But maybe the five year olds can't. And sometimes we try to get programs that work for everybody. But that'll be that'll be dope. I mean, we even try skating. We even try poetry. Poetry, we had a, a poetry club or something like that. But then people don't want to go into the poetry club. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, when you put poetry uh, versus the gym, poetry is always going to lose. Poetry is going to be like, I want to go to the gym. I want to go to the gym. And then they see their friend go to the gym and they'll be like, I don't want to be the only one doing poetry. So everyone's going to want to go to the fun spot instead of trying something new. But literature, that's a, that's a, great, that's a great program. I think that... That um, as soon as we get our, what they call those things again, Andrew, um, uh, the person that's supposed to help us with uh English and all that stuff, a director. We had a director, right? In charge of English. I don't know what it was. I think I think Miss Francesca was in charge of it. Um, as soon as we get that person, we'll start getting more curriculums like that. Andrew is in charge of English. Well, maybe for 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 the younger kids. I mean, he's helpful in that sense. He with the schoolwork and math and all that stuff. But um, we need somebody that's just focused on on that. Um, and with having a group is kind of hard when you do that. Um, Royce, you have any ideas of of, of something that you might be interested in that you may want to see at Kids um, Bay? Um, I want us to play board games and stop um, actually playing video games. Oh, so I, hold up a second. <laughs> Boys, I think I think you were reading my mind. I am I am an advocate for games. I don't mind games. I just think that there's a lot of fun games that do not have to do with a computer, a video game and stuff like that. So implementing a board game or a, a club or classes of even 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 creating your own board game, I think would be a, a fun thing. And then we could compete. Maybe we'll take our board game to another clubhouse and compete with them and stuff like that. I think that is, that's a that's a dope way to get everyone involved. Like you could create a lot of things in a board game. There's so many different rules you could create. There's math problems. There's um you know 
uh, chances. There's, you know, dice, maybe no dice. There's strategies to it. There's a lot of things. I think that'll be something that I would love to be part of, that part. How about um, you take away all games? Well, well you can't take away all them, games. Then make them do work. No, for no, the rest it's not of school. The day. I mean, no, it's not school. We we want to have fun. I mean, I was a kid once. We don't we don't want to go somewhere and be like, oh, I just did eight hours of school and then come over here, eat a patalito, and then do three hours of school. We don't want to do that. You want some things to be fun, but what we're trying to also accomplish is that we're gonna we want to show you different things. So if you don't know how to play chess, then maybe you should learn how to play chess. You may not be the greatest chess player. I'm not great at all. My son used to compete, and he could always beat me. But at least I could sit down with him and talk to him and play chess. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm not really that great. Checkers, I'm good. Though. Checkers and tic-tac-toe, I'm good at. Uh, Battleship, I'm good at. And Monopoly, uh, I'm like Donald Trump in Monopoly. If you know who Donald Trump is. He used to be our president. Yeah. Okay, I'm just checking. I'm Nobody just checking. remembers him anymore. Well, I want to watch him from my memory, too. Consider Considering that he has no social media platform anymore. Yeah, he's, he's over. Um, is there anything else? So board games, definitely. I say I say uh, coding. I, I see those things green lit real quick. Um, literature, I see it happening, but we just got to get people interested in it. And, and that's the hard part. But I, I think I think all the three ideas are definitely great ideas. I say we put a boxing club. A what? boxing? We used to the boys and girls club used to have boxing a long time ago. Um, I'm going to tell you realistically. I'm not going to, you know, make it all fancy. But what happens with boxing and stuff like that is, you know, the kids get hit, even then they got head pieces and all that, and it becomes medical. It becomes a liability. It becomes insurance. It's so much stuff because it's an active sport that people could get hurt on. So that's that's something that you know specific places want to deal with. How I don't, about I don't you think box the with also. a boxing bag? I mean, maybe training, like yes. box boxing training. Um, that that's something that I could see happening. But boxing itself, I don't I don't think so because. Everyone could get hurt now. If someone if someone hits you too hard in the head, all of a sudden you you know, let's say you, you get hurt, and I I mean, some people may want to sue, and some people may actually get hurt enough that they could you know they could die, and, and we don't want to deal with that. I'd rather deal with a paper cut from you know from drawing than to deal with somebody you know that we know that we Getting see on a, on, a, on a daily yeah get some you know damage to the head or something like that. Yeah. So even yeah, even with karate, I mean, there's a lot. How of about things. swimming? Swimming. We never had swimming. Well, we don't have a pool. We so can if make you want, one. If you want to, no, we can't. Well, come on, be realistic. Be realistic. Well, we can't make a pool in this place, but we do have a pool in our other clubhouse. I mean, they open on Saturday. You want to go swimming? Go over there swimming. It's nice indoor. It's heated. They got classes at nine o'clock from nine to eleven, and from one to three. So you want to go swimming? There you go. Swimming is there. Anything else that you guys would like, especially for this clubhouse? I mean, you see the clubhouse? We got four, four, four I know, floors. I know one. What you got? Doing more podcasts. Oh, we could always do more podcasts. That's not a problem. For we every just, day. We just, oh, I used to do it every day. This is the problem with doing it every day. I need one day to not do it because all the podcasts pile up and there's no way for me to put them online. So I kind of need like, if right now I have two classes today, I'm probably going to get four podcasts. I need to put those up, you know, as soon as possible. And it takes time to, to put them up on all the platforms. So it's not that we can't do podcasts. We were doing podcasts every day. That's not a problem. That's, even, that's, that's very easy to do. Even when I came early, you said that you were editing some podcasts. Yeah. Sometimes when I get here at three o'clock, my a, first hour is editing. I have another club that we can do. Okay. Trips. Um, you see what's happening in the world. Oh. You see what's happening in the world. I mean, oh, wow. we we um we're very wow? limited. We're very limited to to what we could do. Um, also we're limited in time. You guys get here at all different times. You know, some people get here at two forty five. Some people get here at three thirty. Um, we're only here to six thirty. 
So for us to plan to take you somewhere for an hour, to you know, it takes us an hour to get you there, an hour to do something, and an hour to come back. We don't really have a lot of time. Um, but we have done trips in the past. We've gone to, I think we went to like Google. Um, I've I've done some to the to the museum in the Bronx where we, they had like a graffiti uh, uh, exhibit, and we had a good time there. I mean, they do some, but um, it's very it's very hard now with with coronavirus and all that stuff. Then how about we start at two o'clock? Well, we can't start at two o'clock in your school. Opening. Okay, we could open whatever time. You're still in school. So that that's not going to matter. So opening early is not going to matter. If I open at 12 o'clock, you're still going to be in school, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It's, this is not after school program. It's not during school program. It's an after school program. You get out of school at 225, 230. We open at 245. Um, so that's not going to change anything. So trips, I could understand. I mean, we even we didn't even do trips in the summertime. We've been very limited trips this year, but we would love to do that. Um, I'm pretty sure we used to have an anime club, but like, instead of anime, like anime comes from Japan and Japanese is a culture. Or Chinese. So maybe we could. Uh, mostly, chi- mostly Chinese, Japanese, Chinese. but yes. China. But, um, we could probably do like a, um, what is it called? A a fantasy club. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, a culture club, basically. A culture club that would like, be that would be. And cool. then you learn about like certain cultures. That would be awesome. Man, man. Learning about different cultures, their food, their the different things that they do. I mean that that would be awesome to do something like that. Just call it a culture club. Ooh, that's a good a good title. It's also a, a band, but a culture club would be nice that we could do. Let's say we focus two weeks on something. Maybe their music, maybe the foods. Um, maybe a sport. How about a something like that? club? Something that, oh. that we could do all three aspects. But So something like that I could definitely sell, a co- like a culture club or something of that. Um, I'm sorry, what, what did you say? How about a riddle club? A video club? Riddle. Riddle, riddle club? Yes. Um, like Where right you, Well, you tell some riddles no. that people have to guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know how, how, how that could be a class or a club or how everybody could participate in it. Folk um, tale club? Games from the nineties club? Doing you go on retro gaming. Um retro gaming is, is really in now. Um that'll be nice. Um I always said I'm Your not voice. I'm not I'm not yeah. a thought, fan. I thought you said you sh- you should what? take away all the games and then I put and then said, put board no, games. No, I never said. No, no, no. He all. said he said he he. One of his things that he said he would like to add was board games. I said I would like to take away all video games, but I have a reason for that because I think that you guys don't respect or you don't give the same respect to the old games, the games that like Pong, Pac Man, all that stuff that game came Boy. that came before you. You you know you like I'm doing this I'm doing this Mortal and, and, and Mortal Kombat like you 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 don't understand how gaming started and to where is that now so until I don't feel that that you guys know a little bit about you know right. retro gaming about '90s gaming and maybe about now I don't feel comfortable with just I, putting you in front of a machine and just playing you know these new games that I, came out. I remember a TV I remember when Mr. H let me play on his Mortal Kombat machine. Yeah, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not all bad. Um, I mean, he had to earn it. He had to earn it. But we, we had, you know, we also, I gave our hats not too long ago. Wait, Those what? were all hats that, you know, I could have sold them to somebody, but I gave them away. What's going on, Kelly? To um, who? So, speaking of games, um, in this anime called Naruto, there's this game named, like, Shogi, I think. And it's kind of like chess. So, like, going back to the culture club, it could probably... Like be, like we could probably like play that as a game to like learn about. No, no, I, I think that that what you said was was abs- Like I could give you a perfect example. Let's say we learn about the Chinese culture, right? We could learn about their holidays. You know, we all know about Chinese New Year and stuff like that. So that gives us an aspect of learning. Their um, then we could do Chinese checkers as a game. A lot of people don't play Chinese checkers, but it's really really fun. What um, is Chinese? Checkers? Exactly. So we could teach you that. And then we could have a day that maybe in the kitchen they do some type of dish that has to do with Chinese food or something like that. 
ramen um, even, noodles. Even as simple as ramen noodles. So those three things could really do a whole month of, of you know, activities here. You know, so so we could, you know, add something to a ramen noodle that we normally don't add to eggs. see if it gives it a flavor. Eggs and oh, eggs. Oh. Is, eggs is wonderful. Um, eggs so so I see, hold on, Royce. So I see that happening. That's very easy. I think that is an easy sell. We just got to get it on paper. And what cultures are we going to focus on, um, you know, so that everyone learns? I mean, this, to do it and just be like, oh, we're going to do Spanish food. Most of us have eaten Spanish food. Yeah, now. It, I, I um, never. You know, if Spanish if you had if you had like Thai food, tacos. or maybe you know something different, a different Polish food, or something like that that you could create, but at the same time learn a little bit about the culture. I think that's definitely a go. Korean, like stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that that you may not even know is a Korean dish or something like that. So I think that's a, that's a go. I mean, we have some good ideas here today, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna try to get this up as soon as possible. Wait, hopefully, oh. to the ears of my of my boss while she's at home, you I know, wanna, concentrating. I wanna ask a question. What's up? How do um? Why do Chinese people uh -oh. add um stuff to their ramen and we don't? Traditional. I have, I have no yeah, idea. I know. Tr traditional and taste. I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. Huh? Maybe salt. I, I don't know why they do. Spanish people add stuff to the food, too. I mean, it, all, it all depends Tacos. on, how, like I said, on whatever Taco tradition Tuesday. it is. All right, guys, let's say goodbye. Thank you for all your ideas. Goodbye. And I'll try to put this podcast up as soon as possible. We're trying to get to 10,000 listeners. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. You can win a free iPad. Definitely. Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. And we're out of here.